Hello and welcome to the segment of Features in 5. My name is Francis Trudeau and I'm a product manager at JAMA Software. This video is an overview of JAMA Connect's Live Trace Explorer feature. Note that Live Trace Explorer is currently in beta and available for all cloud customers to try. The Live Trace Explorer is like a real time map of the V model, helping you check coverage completeness and validity across your project. It actively tracks metrics to spot gaps and risks between engineering teams so you can address issues early. This leads to a smoother development process, higher quality products, and faster time to market. This capability is a significant step in our vision to provide metrics for managing the development process through data. To enable the Live Trace Explorer, go to the Admin tab, navigate to the Details section, Find the Live Trace Explorer line and click Configure. Check the box and save. Once enabled, the feature appears in admin project settings and is available for organization and project admins. If permission is granted by their admins, users with a creator license can fully utilize the feature to load and configure existing diagrams. Once enabled, the Live Trace Explorer can be launched by right-clicking a project component or set to create a focused diagram for the selected node, or right-clicking the project root to generate a comprehensive diagram showing all components and sets in sequence from top to bottom. The resulting diagram visually represents the V model with stakeholder needs, system requirements, designs, components on the left, and their associated verifications and validations on the right. Each tile represents a component or set connected by trace paths. These paths are gray if there are no relationships between items and adjacent tiles, or they turn green and red to indicate the number of healthy or suspect relationships between them. On the right side, the verifications and validation branch show the number of test cases linked to items within the container on this left, no matter where they appear in the project. At the bottom of each tile, you'll find a metric representing the ratio of these test cases included in a test plan. On the requirements side, the top part of each tile displays stats, including the number of items by type and any open conversations. In the bottom half, you'll find coverage metrics, essentially the ratio of active relationships to expected ones as defined by the traceability information model. For example, the model indicates that each high-level requirement should have two relationships downstream. Out of my four high-level requirements, three are covered by validations, giving me 75% coverage. Two are related to mid-level requirements, resulting in a score of 50%. In the Actions menu, you can access configuration settings to customize what's displayed and measured. You can globally turn off item types, exclude specific relationships from consideration, or you can configure each tile separately. A common use case consists in configuring your diagram for disabling relationships you are not expected to have at an early stage of your project. Then you may want to disable lower level requirement items and relationships pointing downstream to them. Once applied, the coverage and total score will update automatically. Make sure to save your diagram once you have configured it to your liking. Live Trace Explorer updates in real time, so any changes to project data instantly affect the metrics. For example, I can address a gap by clicking on the incomplete coverage. This will open TraceView, where I can then establish a relationship to a mid-level requirement. Back in Live Trace Explorer, the metrics and total score, summarizing all coverage, will update after a refresh. You can keep a record and share these metrics by exporting a diagram as a PDF from the Actions menu at the top. 
If you'd like to learn more about how Jamma Connect can optimize your product development processes, please visit our website at jammasoftware.com.